Science Concepts with Mr. P. For more science concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at MRP Lieberman, all one word, at gmail.com for additional assistance. Significant digits. So in the following lesson, this is a, uh, an introduction to the physics unit. And in the physics unit, you'll be making numerous calculations. So please use this um, lesson um, as a refresher on making your calculations throughout this entire unit. Okay, so let's look at the uh, first slide here. Measurement and calculations. The correct way to record measurements is to record all those digits that are certain plus one uncertain digit only. Okay, so that whole certain plus one digit is known as a significant digit. And the certainty of a measurement is determined by how many certain digits plus one are obtained by the measuring instrument. Okay, so let's look at what that means with the following example. So here we have our ruler and we're going to put in a measurement. So we know, let's say this measurement right here. Well, we have an idea. And if we look at it in terms of a metric ruler here, we are looking at two centimeters. But according to the certain plus one, okay, we don't really know if this could be 2.1, maybe it might not be two, it might be 1.9999 and so on. We don't know that. So by putting the uncertain number, we know for certain it's about two. But the one thing that we don't know is that are we, how close to two are we? So what we do is the certain number is our two. So we include one more digit, okay, to represent that there might be something else. It might be 2.1, it might be 2.05. 2.01, okay? So that's what we mean by including a uh, certain plus one digit. Okay. So uh, another example here, we have, um, let's put another, so right here, okay. we know about that the number is 1.5, let's say, centimeters, but, because according to that certain plus one rule, we are going to include one more digit after our, our last, what we consider certain. So we're going to add in a zero. So we're going to add what we call an additional significant digit. And this goes when we're measuring something. So we pull out the ruler and we got to measure the length of something. This is how we determine what our value is. So we add what's certain as well as one additional uncertain number. Okay. So let's move on to significant digits. Now, this is the part we really, really need to, to stay attentive for. Okay. The, uh, the rules for significant digits. And let me... Uh, Move that a little bit lower here. So let's look at all digits included in a stated value except for leading zeros. These are leading zeros or numbers like, uh, so this leading zeros, okay, those zeros that follow, let's say, a number. Or if we're looking at it in terms of a really small number, okay, it's all those zeros, the zeros in front. Okay, but we'll talk more about that um, as we move uh, as we move on. So let's look at the first example. Twenty-seven point five meters. Real simple. Number of significant digits are three. Okay. So here's the little note, a side note for it. All non-zero digits are considered significant. Okay. Next example. Ten point six. Common mistake because of this common here about leading zeros is we'll say that there are two significant digits. That's incorrect. Okay. In fact, this has 
three significant digits. And here's the rule. If a zero is between two other digits, then it is considered significant. Okay, so even though we said that these zeros are not considered significant, when they are found between two non-zero numbers, it is considered significant. Okay, and here are the two non-significant, two non-zero numbers, one and six. This zero is between these two, so in other words, this zero counts as a significant digit. Okay. 350 grams, and this kind of goes to the example above, as we said, leading zeros. So we have two significant digits. And here, any zero that are to the right of other digits in a whole number, are in a, in a stress in a whole number, are not significant. Okay? So um, we could have a number like 350. We could have an example like we had up here, 1,000. Or let's make it a hundred thousand. Okay, here's an example similar to this one where we have only one significant digit because all these zeros don't really count as significant digits. These zeros are there just to represent size of, a, of the number. Okay, next example. Here's where things get a little tricky. 12.00 liters. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the value. So, so think about what the value might be. Okay, so take a guess. Okay, and here's the answer. Four significant digits. And i tell you why. Any zero to the right of a decimal point and following another digit. Okay, so there, there have to be other non-zero digits before the decimal, okay, uh, are considered significant. If they were not, they wouldn't be written. So, in other words, do I need these zeros? Okay, technically, I can, I can cross them out. Okay, my answer here still represents 12 liters. So with or without those zeros, I still have the same value. Okay, so because I don't need these zeros, why did I put them? Okay, I put them because I want to make a significance out of these numbers. Okay, I want to make them significant. So, in other words, let's look at an example here. We had the example of 100,000 at the beginning. And we said that we have one significant digit. Okay, now we said here, if we cross the zeros, do we still have the same value? If I cross these zeros out, do we still have the same value? And that's no, okay, that's no. Okay, so that's why those zeros are not significant per se of significance. They're important, okay, because they represent the value of the number. It represents the size of 100,000. But 12.00 here, okay, 12.00, we don't need these. We don't need them. We, we, we have the same value. Whether we have 12.00 or 12.0 or just 12, the value of that number doesn't change. So we put the zero, the point zero zero, because we want to make a significance out of these numbers. 